Hello and welcome to this uh, video. In this video, we will do first 10 problems of geometric progression. So let's get started with the first problem. These problems will be very easy in nature and slowly we will deal with the difficult problems. So the first problem says that how many turns are in the GP 5, 20, 80 and so on up to 5,120. 5, so we know that given for given AP, our first term A is 5 and common ratio we find by dividing 20 with 5, which comes as 4. The formula for nth term is Tn is equal to AR to the power n minus 1. So we substitute the value of Tn here, which is 5120 and that is equal to 5 into 4 to the power n minus 1. So we divide 5120 by 5 which becomes 1024 which is equal to 4 to the power 5. So by comparing the powers we get n minus 1 is equal to 5 therefore n is equal to 6. Second problem says that how many terms are in the geometric progression 0 0.03, 0 0.06, 0 0.12 up to 3.14. So it is same as the first problem. Our First term is 0 0.03 and common ratio we find as 2. Similarly, we substitute the values of A and R in formula for nth term. And we get 0 0.03 into 2 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 3.84. We divide 3.84 by 0 0.03, which is 128, is equal to 2 to the power 7. So again, by comparing powers, we get n minus 1 is equal to 7, which gives us n is equal to 8. Third problem says that a boy agrees to work at the rate of 1 rupee the first day, 2 rupee the second day, 4 rupee the third day, 8 rupees the fourth day, and so on. How much would he get on 20th day? So clearly, since the money is doubling, as you can see, that first day he gets first day he gets one rupee second day he gets two rupees third day gets four rupees so you see that the amount is doubling therefore clearly our uh, money gained is a gp with first term a is equal to one and common ratio is equal to two therefore the money made by the boy in on 20th day will be equal to t20 is equal to one into two to the power 20 minus one is equal to two to the power 19 which is equal to 524,288. Now we move on to fourth problem. The fourth problem says that the population of a city in January 1987 was 20,000. It increased at the rate of 2% per annum. Find the population of the city in January 1997. So population in 1988 would be 20,000 plus 2% 2 of 20,000, which is equal to 20,000 into 1.02. And then this population will again increase uh, by 2%. So population in 1988 plus 2% of that, which gives us 20,000 into 1.022 square. Now we see that it's a geometric progression with A is equal to 20,000 and R is equal to 1.02. Therefore, after 10 years, population in 1997 will be 20,000 into 1.02 to the power 10, which gives us 24,379. Fifth problem says that the sum of n terms of a sequence is 2 to the power n minus 1, find its nth term, is the sequence in GP. Now we have Sn is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1, therefore Sn minus 1 will be 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. We subtract uh, Sn minus 1 from Sn and we get that subtraction as nth term which is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 and then we divide Tn with Tn minus 1 which is equal to 2 and therefore we see that the ratio of consecutive terms is a constant and independent of n and therefore the sequence is in gp sixth problem says that if the fifth term of a gp is 81 and the second term is 24 find gp so in this case we assume that a is the first term r is the common ratio of the gp given that second term which is ar is equal to 24 
and fifth term ar to the power 4 is equal to 81. So by dividing them, you get r to the power 3 is equal to 81 by 24. And we divide each by 3, so we get 27 by 8. Therefore, r is equal to 3 by 2. Now we substitute the value of r in t2. So 24 is equal to, sorry, ar is equal to 24. Therefore, a is equal to 24 by r is equal to 24 into 2 by 3, which is 16. And therefore, our gp becomes 16, 24, 36, 54, and 81. Problem 7 says that the 7th term of a GP is 8 times the 4th term. Find the GP when its 5th term is 48. So the formula for 7th term is AR to the power 6 and 4th term is AR cube. And we are given that 7th term is 8 times 4th term. Therefore, we substitute in the formula and we get AR to the power 6 is equal to 8 times AR 3 and therefore we have r cube is equal to 8 which gives r as 2. Also we are given that fifth term is 48 which is equal to a r to the power 4 is equal to 48. We substitute the value of r to get the value of a as 3 and therefore we find that gp is 3, 6, 12, 24. Problem number 8 says that if the fifth and eighth term of a gp be 48 and 384 respectively find the gp. So again, we assume A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio. Fifth term is AR to the power 4 is equal to 48. Eighth term is AR to the power 7 is equal to 384. By dividing them, we find R cubed to be 384 by 48 is equal to 8. And again, R is 2. Now we substitute this in the value for fifth term. We get A into 2 to the power 4 is equal to 48. So A is 3. And our GP turns out to be 3, 6, 12, and 24. Moving on to ninth problem, we have if the sixth and tenth terms of a GP are 1 by 16 and 1 by 256 respectively, find the GP. So like last problem, we have T6 is equal to AR to the power 5 is equal to 1 by 16 and T10 is equal to AR to the power 9 is equal to 1 by 256. We divide them to get R4 is equal to 1 by 16, therefore R is equal to plus minus 1 by 2. Now substituting this value of R in T6, we get a into plus minus 1 by 32, substituting both the values actually, is equal to 1 by 16, so A can be plus minus 2. So in case A is plus 2, then the GP is 2, 1, half, quarter, or if A is minus 2, then the GP would be minus 2, minus 1, minus half, minus quarter, and so on. Um, I think there is an error here there will be actually four gps depending no so if r is positive then a would be positive and if r is negative then a is also negative so in that case uh, let's say that a is plus two and r is half so we get this plus term but in case a is minus two and r is minus half then it would be 2 and then minus 1 and then half because the alternate terms would be positive in this case. So next term in, when both are negative would be uh, 1 by 8 and then should be 1 by 16 but it is not coming out to be. So let's do it again. So let's say that R is negative and A also comes out to be negative, right? So both uh, the first term would be minus 2. The second term will become uh, AR. So it will be plus 1. And then the third term would be minus half. And uh, fourth term would be plus 1 by 4. Then minus 1 by 8. Then plus 1 by 16. So that makes sense. So this is uh, this has got error. The second, fourth, and sixth terms and eighth and ten. That is all the even terms would be positive. Sorry for that mistake. Uh, please correct it and I'll correct it in the slide when I upload it to GitHub. Now problem number ten. If the pth, qth, and rth terms of a GP be a, b, c, where all are greater than zero, then prove that q minus r log a plus r minus p into log b plus p minus q into log c is equal to zero. So in this case, we assume that x 
to be the first term, y to be the common ratio. Then we have a is equal to xy to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to, and then we take log of both sides. We get log a is equal to log x plus 3 minus 1 into log y. Similarly, we get b is equal to xy to the power q minus 1, which gives us log q is equal to log b, it should be. Uh, there are lots of errors in typing. This should be log b, this should be log c. And the right side would be log x plus q minus 1 into log by y. And this log c will be log x plus r minus 1 into log y. So now we substitute these values in the equation and we simplify to get the final result as 0. So that's it for the first 10 problems of geometric progression. In our next video, we will deal with the next 10 problems of geometric progression. Thanks a lot for watching and if you have liked this video then please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit a like and also let me know in comments uh, what topics you would like the videos to be made on so that I can make videos on that. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy.